Okay, now let's do the health. Let's go over back to our HUD. And maybe I'll have the health in the bottom left corner here. So I'm going to add, uh, I'm going to duplicate this whole thing, Control D, with a new grid container. And instead of level label, oh, actually, let's move this out of the way. So with the grid container 2 here, I'm going to move that to the bottom left down here. And instead of level label, we'll call it health label, health value. We'll call this the ammo label and the ammo value. Health label, let's go over to the inspector. This will be health. And I'm putting a space after health. It doesn't really matter, actually, I guess. I can leave all these at zero. And ammo. It looks like they're lining up nicely, so that space probably isn't required. Okay, so we should be able to update the health similar to the way we updated the wave, but instead of doing that from the spawner, we're gonna have to do that from the player. So let's go, let's just go open here the player scene. And uh, in the stats script, is that where we take damage? Yeah. Okay, so we currently have a signal that's sent when we die. We also want a signal that's just gonna send out an update on the health. And we'll emit that signal every time they take damage here. So we can put that right under here. Let's get rid of that old comment. So we'll emit a signal. It's going to be the update health signal. We're going to pass it one parameter, and that's going to be the current hit points. Good. Now, if you wanted to, in your heads up display, have two pieces of info, you could also pass it pass the max hit points value as well if you wanted to add another label that displayed that. I don't think I'm going to do that, but you'll see it's uh, it's just you can just add an extra parameter there on the end as long as you receive it. Okay, well that's simple. So how am I going to connect the update health? Uh, that's not going to work because our HUD is not available. So let's close the player now. And in the game, I just control S there, uh, I'm going to right click the player and choose editable children here. And that's going to allow me to expand the player so I can get to the stats node. And now I can click the update health signal and I can connect it to the HUD. It's going to be called on stats update health. And then remember we need to receive two parameters because we're sending two parameters. So we'll have the current health. And let's just see what happens when we do when we do one here. Uh, oh, and we're going to need to add these health and ammo variables on ready var health equals. Let's do the health value and on ready var ammo. It's going to be the ammo value. Good. And then here we can go. health.text equals string current health. Good. Okay. Is this going to work? Doo -doo. Oh, it's working. I guess I didn't need to add that second parameter. Okay. Uh, health is zero. That's not helpful. Health is not even updating when I get hit. Also not helpful. Bite me. Nope. All right, what did I screw up there? Health text, health is the health value. Uh, we're passing current health. Okay, let's debug a little bit here and trying to update health in HUD. Is that, are we actually receiving that signal? Uh, nope, definitely not happening, okay on stats health update. Let's see what's going wrong here. Let's go back to the stats. Uh, let's go to the script. <laughs> uh, did you catch that? When I wrote, when I did this originally, how did that happen? Okay, this should obviously be, um, we wanna send the update health signal. 
Whoopsie. Update health, comma. There we go. Yeah. Okay, it's starting at zero, so we have to deal with that. And now I got bit, and it's still not updating. I'm still not getting the signal. I'm taking a hit. Update health. Uh, is it the second parameter problem? Current health. Max health. Yeah? No? What do you think? Oh, there, it worked. It was, see? <laughs> we did have to have both those parameters. Okay, uh, trying to update good. Health worked. The only problem is it didn't start out with the amount of health we wanted. Okay, uh, let's go Let's go to our stats. Hmm, so we want to emit this signal when the node is ready and the current hit points have been set to the max hit points, but we already know if we emit the signal here, the HUD might not be ready yet and we might get an error. So what we could do is, uh, let's just try and cheat. Let's do this in the game, in the games ready method here. And we'll go, let's just force that signal here. We already have a reference to the player right there. And hmm, so in the, what's going on here? In the game script, let's go, let's cheat here. We're gonna get node. <laughs> uh, let's get the node, we want the stats node. And then from the stats node, we're gonna call take hit, but we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna give it zero damage. So when the when the whole game is ready and everything's loaded, it's gonna take zero damage, which is gonna cause the stats node to emit the update health signal with the current hit points, which should be full. Uh, I I don't know if that's a good way of doing it. I'm just gonna leave a comment here because that does seem weird. So we'll just say that this is to force an update of the HUD. And now we should see that our player has seven health and takes one damage. Good. Okay, now to update ammo, which is gonna be slightly more complicated than the last one. So we're gonna need a signal again. Let's go, let's go into the player. Uh, the player doesn't even have a gun yet, so we're gonna actually have to manually connect this signal since the gun is being added programmatically um, And we'll have to do like we have been we'll use the gun controller as a middleman that will propagate that signal back up to the rest of the game But let's start with the gun itself. So we'll go into our weapons folder and the gun scene and We'll go to the gun script and down here, let's do this uh, after on ready var. We'll create a new signal and we'll just call it update ammo. And then we'll probably want to update the ammo every time we shoot. So let's go to the shoot method here and we'll do it every time we reduce the magazine by one. That makes sense. So we'll emit the signal. It will be the update ammo signal. Ooh, that's what I must have done last time there when I got the wrong signal. Let's uh, update ammo. I don't like hand typing those in. I'm just asking for a typo. And then we'll pass it however many bullets are in the magazine. And I think we should be fine on this one because when the game is ready it reloads. Hmm. Maybe not. Let's see. Okay. So we're emitting the signal update ammo. Now let's go back to the player in the game here. We can go to the player, go to the player script. Actually, we're going to want to go to the gun controller script because that's where the... Let's close that. This is where we're equipping a weapon. And when we equip a weapon, we instantiate it, and then we add it as a child node to the player's hand. Um, this seems to be an error. I don't think we want this else statement here because... If we already have a weapon equipped, we're deleting it, and then we're going to add the new weapon we're trying to equip. It's not else. It's going to happen. It should be like that. All right, what were we doing here? Okay, so when we equip a weapon, we're going to add it as a child, and then we need to connect to the weapon signal. So we'll go equipped weapon, not equip weapon. Equipped weapon, and we're going to connect to the ammo update signal 
Why are you not happy with that? Uh, okay, so when we connect, we need a target object. So we're gonna our target's gonna be ourself, the gun controller, and the method we are gonna call is a method we'll make up now, and we'll call it on uh, gun. So the node and then the method, or sorry, the signal. So on gun ammo update is kind of our naming convention here, and then we'll have to create that function, and we can do that down at the bottom. We can maybe put a label here for signals. New function on gun ammo update. We're gonna want to we're gonna receive the ammo value, and then we're gonna propagate the signal. So we're just re-emitting the signal to the rest of the game, and that'll be our. Ammo update signal, which we don't have, so let's add that here for our ready function. Signal ammo update. Let's do that again here. Ammo update. There we go. And we'll again just propagate the value for the ammo. Okay, now because the gun controller is in our game scene right off the bat, we can go select it here in the nodes we can find our ammo update signal we'll connect it to the hud and on controller on gun controller ammo update perfect wait what happened here that's not what i wanted i clicked the wrong thing let target player no 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 let's get rid of that um go back to our gun controller let's disconnect that try again Connect the ammo update, and I want to connect it to the HUD. Okay, there we go. Now we're in the uh, we're in the HUD script. All right, let's update it. So we'll go ammo dot text equals string, and we want to receive the ammo value, and we'll plop that right in there. Okay, let's try that. Oh, where's the ammo? Oh yeah, down there. Okay, we have zero ammo. We reloaded. We still have zero ammo. None of this is working. Uh, okay, so on gun controller ammo update, we have an ammo value. Let's just print, trying to update ammo in HUD. What's gonna happen? We get it? No, it's not even calling the signal. What do we screw up? So let's go to the gun controller, and do we emit the signal? Uh, do we get here even? Mm -hmm. Nope, we don't get that. Okay, what did I mess up in this line here? One thing I noticed is it didn't autocomplete, which was annoying, so maybe I'm just going to take another stab at that. So we have an equipped weapon dot connect. Well, it's working now. Ammo update. Oh, it was update ammo, not ammo update. Okay, well, <laughs> that explains it. Uh, I had the wrong signal name. Man, autocomplete, lifesaver. Why did I not pause when it didn't autocomplete the first time? That would have saved me all this time. Okay, so updating ammo. I assume now that's the correct one. Ooh, errors. Okay, good, good. Uh, invalid index test. Right on. That should be text. Good catch there, Godot. Boom, update ammo. Boom, 11. Yay, okay. Reloads. Uh, let's try with R. R does not reload. Okay, so we should probably send that signal out when we reload. So let's just copy that. And we sh we refill the magazine somewhere, right? Right here, we refill the mag. So we let's try admitting the signal there. So do we start out with Yeah, we start out with 13. Good. Shoot a little bit. Hit R. Boom, 13 again. Oh, that's nice, eh? Nice having all that data available to us. 
All right, that looks to be about it. Um, maybe I'll just, before we leave here, uh, clean up some of these print statements. Where we go? There we go. We don't need this stuff anymore. And in the HUD script as well. All right. 